Hey guys, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and here's a clip from a past tutorial on how to deal with the error could not migrate data to USB drive. You might get this when trying to expand internal storage, which is also referred to as adoptable storage. Now this was done on my Chromecast with Google TV, but the same process should work on any Android TV or Google TV system. Since we're going to be sending some ADB commands to the device, it's important that we first go into settings. You want to go into system. If you haven't already enabled developer options, you want to go into about, highlight, build, and click that seven times. Once you do that, it will say you are now a developer. You'll go back to the previous screen developer options will be listed there. And you want to make sure that USB debugging is turned on. And I suggest after you go through this process that you come back in here and turn it off. We have seen some problems where USB drives don't reconnect when the device is restarted because this remains on. So here's the portion pulled from that tutorial that shows how to fix this error. I'm also linking to the full video in the video description below. And now I'm just gonna move over and click this here, erase and format as device storage. Now what this is doing is it's taking the USB drive and adding it to internal storage so we can run applications from it. I'm gonna hit format. USB storage reconnected. And you will notice the larger driver you're using, the longer this process will take, so just be patient and wait for it to complete. USB drive is formatted. Okay, now it's asking me, do you want to move data to the USB drive? Yes, we do. I'm gonna hit move now. Could not migrate data to USB drive. Now I knew that was going to happen. That is a common error we get with the Chromecast with Google TV when expanding internal storage. So now I'm gonna show you how to fix that. I'm gonna go back to the home screen, hover over apps, move down. I'm gonna click search for apps and games. And I want to install the free downloader application. There's some ADB commands that we need to send to the device to fix this and I need to install an application through the Troy Point Toolbox to do that. Sorry, downloader isn't available on this TV. Now, unfortunately, that's a bug currently present within Google TV devices. We do know that downloader is available for install. So what I suggest doing is pressing the voice assistant button on the remote and then say, open Google Play. Now you may encounter this with other applications you try to install on the Chromecast with Google TV and the same trick will work to get the apps that they say are not available. So within here, I'm gonna search for downloader again. And you're gonna see there, I type in the first few letters, hit the back button on my remote, install. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. You must click the allow button when you see this. Click OK. Up button on my remote to put the cursor in the URL box. Now I'm gonna click the OK button on the remote to open the keyboard. And I want to type in 250931. This will open the Troy Point toolbox that will allow us to install a couple of applications. Now I have dozens of apps available for install in here that aren't available within Google Play Store or the Amazon App Store. Since I use this on a regular basis, I do wanna mark this as a favorite within Downloader. To do that, I'm going to hold down on the OK button of the remote for a few seconds, add current page to favorites, back button to get rid of the keyboard, save, and now when I come in here in the future and I want to install an app through the Troy Point Toolbox, I just have to go into Favorites, hit Troy Point Toolbox. It will load without waiting for the five-second load screen with the ads. 
Okay, I'm going to scroll down. I'm looking for the ADB app and Sideload Launcher. Those are the two apps I'm going to install. All right, the first one I want to install is Sideload Launcher. And the reason I need this is because I want an easy way to launch applications that don't show up on the default Chromecast with Google TV Launcher. This is good just to have anyway, just in case you do sideload apps that aren't supported by the launcher. And like I mentioned, there's all kinds of apps you can install through here that aren't available within Google Play. To learn more about them, all you need to do is click the tutorial button. As long as you have a browser set up on your Chromecast with Google TV or Fire Stick, click the tutorial link and you will learn more about each application. So I'm going to hit download. Okay, when I first do this, it's going to ask me to turn on unknown apps for downloader. So I want to go into settings, move down, highlight downloader, click the OK button, and now it gives me the install option. Install. Application installed. Okay, I want to hit done. There's another app I need to install. Back button on my remote. Now there's no need to leave this on the device, so I'm going to hit delete and delete again. This is just the installation file. We already have limited storage, so get rid of those installation files. There's no need for those. Okay, now I'm looking for the ADB application. I'm going to scroll down a little bit further. I'm going to put my pointer over it, press download, install, done, and delete the installation for this as well. Okay, I'm done with the downloader app. I'm going to hit the home button on my remote. Now, if you come down here and look at the applications in this row, you're going to notice that the ADB application is not present. And that's why I installed the Sideload Launcher application. It gets us to these apps that don't provide support for the Chromecast with Google TV Launcher. Hit the OK button when you see this. And here is the remote ADB shell app. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Click OK. Now, in this first box, all I need to do is type in local host. Back button to get rid of the keyboard. I can just move down and click connect. I'm going to leave 5555 for the port. I want to check the box that says always allow from this computer. So I'm going to press the OK button on my remote and then click allow. Before I go to the next step, be sure to get my free video guide on how to install third-party app stores that will allow you to install hundreds of secret apps not available within Google Play Store or Amazon App Store. The reason these devices are so popular is due to the free secret apps that we can install, and my guide covers everything from start to finish. To get my video guide, simply click the link in the video description or scan this QR code with a camera app on your phone or tablet and the free guide will be delivered to your inbox immediately. Okay, now I'm going to send a few commands to this device to fix the storage issue we saw earlier. First one I'm going to type in is PM space list space users. Hit the check mark. And now it's going to show the users set up on the Chromecast with Google TV. There really should only be one user because I only have one account created for this device. And you're gonna see the one that's running, that's what I'm currently using. The other one where it says user info 10, that's a user that I don't need and I need to get rid of that user. Now, you may see this problem on other Android TV, Google TV devices as well. And these same commands should work for those as well. So the next command I want to send is PM space remove dash user space 10. And I'm inputting 10 because it's showing the user above that I'm not currently using, the one that doesn't show running next to it, it's identified as 10. Now you may notice when you're typing in these commands that it auto-corrects. If you notice that it auto-corrects, as soon as it auto-corrects, hit the back button or the delete button, and then it will go back to what you had. So again, the command is PM space remove dash user space 10. So I'm going to hit the check mark. Success removed user. Okay, now I should be able to go back to the home screen, hover over the gear icon, click the gear icon, 
back into system storage. I'm going to highlight the USB drive that's recognized, move over, and now I'm going to press migrate data to this storage again. Move now. The more applications you have installed, the longer this will take. Migrated data to USB drive. It has been completed. Okay, now the could not migrate data to USB storage error has been fixed. And like I said earlier, you'll probably want to go back into settings, system, developer options, and turn off USB debugging. Now, some devices have this problem and some don't. The popular $19 Walmart on 4K Google TV streaming box is one that has this problem. And if you don't turn this off, when your device reboots, it's not going to reconnect the USB storage. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos like this. Also, be sure to check out our website, troypoint.com, where you will find thousands of tutorials for Android TV, Google TV, and Fire Stick devices. As always, have an awesome day, and thanks for following Troy Point.